Hey, Builder Blog. Hi. Zach and Diana here. I got a Zach. Uh, tomorrow's Robo Games. If you've ever wanted to meet us live, if you've ever wanted to see live robot fighting, come to the Alameda Fairgrounds here in California. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 56 competitions, all fighting. The shop is crazy right now. With, it is so messy. <laughs> with Zach is everybody. going completely insane. <laughs> it is beautiful. It's just, it's just boxes of things it's everywhere. Stuff everywhere. It's raining parts. We're building autonomous robots, solar robots, combat robots. Uh, arenas! We got them in spades! <laughs> and you get an arena! And you get an arena! <laughs> So come to Robo Games. Tickets are on sale now. Microdrive. Microdrive was my first uh, fighting robot champion ever, and wow, that is a terrible spot for that thing. This is a brand new version of him. Ignore the extra cable. What does Microdrive do? Microdrive wins gold medals. Well, no. I uh, mean, it used to anyway. Hey. <laughs> he brought me home two golds and a silver. Here's Microdrive 3. And we're making Microdrive number 4. Wow. Out from the depths. Yep. And he's Dusting off those circuits. He's going to be better than ever. Nice. We're actually rebuilding a lot of robots. Mm -hmm. This is Bot Bash's 8-year anniversary. And we have a bunch of Generation 4 robots coming. So Microdrive is getting rebuilt into a new version. And then we have... Look at that shelf of robots. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that a choo-choo train up there? Yes, it is. It's... And a chicken. Hi, hey, hey. It, it's the pain train. So, we've got our brand new version of Gearhead done and ready. Second ever Bot Bash robot. This was Grim Sweeper. And this is the new Grim Sweeper. Ooh, that looks grim. It is. So yeah. what you might notice is on our older frames, they were a lot more custom and we would cut parts and hand bend parts and all that stuff, completely torture ourselves. Our new updated frames are all 3D printed thanks to our teammate Rob with his Mark Forge printer and our teammate Adam with his Prusa printer. Ah! Don't worry, folks. There's Lexan there. Cover your shame, Grim Sweeper. Well, so you look at like kind of the night and day difference on what how they used to look and how they look now. And so this the reason this is very significant to me is this is like our four original Bot Bash robots all being reborn. And we're gonna release them all at Robo Games. Um, He's not excited at all. I'm just a little excited. And it, if you come over here, here's <laughs> my five-time RoboGame champion. It's the bomb! Wait, you say it. It sounds wrong with me. <laughs> it's the bomb! So, this uh, shredded so many robots I lost count. It's back from Korea where it didn't do too well. I switched out my trusty finger techs for Maxon Motors. Since you... Andy kept telling me how how the Maxod was so much better, and I would disagree. <laughs> In fact, uh, I disagreed a lot. But I'm actually trying something new. This is going to be the very first entirely brushless bomb. And I got these slick new motors. Who'd you get those from? If you build it, will they come? Yes. There. Woo! Repeat robotics! So I'm I'm giving them a try. And if I still don't have this robot win, I'm going back to my finger text. <laughs> um, so I'm worried about this brushless motor getting caught in all the wiring. So we're currently drawing a new bottom plate for the bomb that we're gonna 3D print. And it's got this nice little housing to hold the gearbox and a little shelter to make sure nothing slides into that brushless motor. Oh, interesting. Hey, look, it's Daniel. What are you working on, Daniel? Working on... Uh, <laughs> robots. Working on little robots. So I these robots, these colored ones, are the ones Adam printed for us on his Prusa printer. 
Do you know what the names are? Wally Popper and Zach, what's this purple and green? Joker. Joker. <laughs> I like the hammer. Some loose wire. Oh no! No! More hanging wires! Are you competing in robo games? I am. What are you competing with? Can you show me? Show one. Oh! oh, oh. Oh, it's leftovers! Why did you name it leftovers? Well, I built it from leftover parts from my other two robots I'm competing. Oh! So the oh, ooh! You may recognize these from his time at Smashbots. Is this Wedge One and Wedge Two? Well, they look like Crash and Burn. Yeah, they are Wedge One, Wedge Two. Nice. Ooh, three D printed frames now. Yeah. Ooh, fancy. So leftovers, his name. He lives up to his name and is made from leftover parts. But I think you're burying the lead here, Daniel. Who is this friendly boy? It's pinata. <laughs> it's a very large fairy weight. <laughs> That's a fairy weight. Very large one. Amazing. Are you gonna put candy in it? I might. I took candy out of it. I might put it back in. <gasps> You heard it here first, folks. There might be candy in our arena. You don't want to miss it. This is a wedge more. It has a wedge and <laughs> more. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, good luck to you, Daniel. Thanks. Well, you look like you're doing something important. That seems like the appropriate time for me to come distract you. Mm. Ooh, what's that? Look at that. Look at that. The way all my mm. secrets are, yeah. Look at that hole. I'm only concentrating. Don't worry. This isn't that distracting. Ooh. X's. This is bomb number 10. Oh! So it's bomb X. Is that the Easter egg on the bottom of <laughs> yes, the bomb? Ah, oh, you cheese master. And that's how she does it. And you weren't even wearing shoes. Nom 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 So many moving parts. And if you're asking yourself, hey Diana, you've checked in on Daniel, you've checked in on Zach, what are you doing for Robo Games? Well, the answer is Peter Sparky Tail. This is my one pounder that I brought to Korea when we competed in the IRC. She took sixth place and got exploded by Brian Neve's vertical spinner. And we are gonna rebuild it, full glory. Okay, bye. So Leslie, Robo Games is just a few days away. Yes. What I'm, are you working on? I'm making a little mini solar robot. It's oh, adorable. cool. <laughs> gonna try for, what is it gonna do? I'm going to use a flashlight to make it move, and I'm hopefully going to race against your solar robot. My solar robot? <laughs> yes, your solar <laughs> robot. And mine is going to kick your butt. Whoa. <laughs> Game on. Game on. My solar, my light versus your light. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can see your face. So, Zach, what do you got over. there? <laughs> well, it's... The bomb! It's the bomb! See, now all I have to do is... Put a weapon on it? Merge it. Merge. It merge! What are you working on there? I just have to merge it. It's just gonna merge. Oh, you're gonna... I like to merge it, merge it. You uh... like to... Merge it! Do 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 do
Sorting parts. Do, 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 Are we doing do, more of this, parts, Diana? Do, 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 do. Sorting parts. Do, 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 do. Sorting parts. <laughs> Ooh, change up. What you know about armadillo? Oh. Right. He attacks from the front and the back. And the back. You're not safe. Oh, he'll have wheels at one point. Sometime. Maybe. We haven't decided yet. So many fun 3D printed robots Ooh. ready to come. Ooh. But you know, out of all of this, we've really truly buried the lead. This is the most meta relevant robot in our shop. 100%. This is Big Macintosh. He's part of the Apple family. His, yep. Yep. He is a man of, he is a pony of few words. But knows how to get stuff done on the farm. Yep. I don't know that he ever competed. But. Nope. He sure does exist. So a wild Dan appeared. Yeah. And he came bearing. Bearings? Do you have <laughs> your bearings? Uh, I lost my, my marbles years ago. No, oh, no. Quick. The first person to find Dan's bearings and marbles gets something. A gets a hug. From someone. That... From Scorpios. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> no one wants the Scorpios hug. I want, a, I want a Scorpios hug. They hurt. He's speaking from experience, folks. So what have you built, Dan? Uh, well, this is just the Polo Zumo kit, and it's a, uh, it's a little autonomous, um, little autonomous robot kit. Ooh! And, uh, we loaded a program on it, and Ow. it's made for doing, like, sumo robots, but we're gonna add some stuff to it and do combat. All right. Just because it's entering fighting robots and it needs to be toughened up for it doesn't mean the sumo classes are not brutal on their opponents. Like, Do you go on? Those sumo bots, some of them are so fast and so brutal, like pieces fly. And Whoa. it's pretty cool to watch. Whoa. <laughs> so that's the thing about Robo Games is it has about 50 different different versions of robot competitions so robot fighting is only one aspect of what robo games has to offer us something uh, for everyone yeah absolutely look at his hands yeah. his sexy hands i should have been a hand model <laughs> been a while since we've checked in on Zach. Oh god, I know what that is. Hold on, I'm still exporting this to an STL. Ah! People wonder why the robot's never done. This is why I won't make them out. <laughs> 